Question number five. Let's just multiply some more radicals. So we have five times the square root of two times four square root of three. Five times four is 20. Then we can write a radical sign over here. And two times three is six. So we have 20 times the square root of six because we just multiplied two times three to get the six. And that's as far as we can go in this case. We can't further simplify 20 times the square root, square root of 6. I can rarely say the word root properly. That's funny. OK, so here we have question number 6. 7 root 12 times 2 root 2. We start multiplying the numbers outside of the roots. 7 times 2, 14 times the square root of 12 times 2, which is 24. Great. Now we can actually just simplify 24 a little bit. There is a factor of 24 that is a perfect square, like 4. 24 divided by 2, sorry, 24 divided by 4 is just 6. So what can I do with this? Well, I can split up the square root. So the square root of 4 is 2. 14 times 2 is 28. So we get 28 root 6. And that's as far as we can go. That's it.